And is it Graf who's weathered that particular storm? Chi who's gone ahead, 5-4. Miss Graf leads five games to four, second set. First set, Miss Novotna. Well, despite all those qualms that she has with her own game, I think that deep down she remembered that she really is very determined to beat Novotna and that Novotna also does get edgy when she's ahead. And fortunately for Steffi, I mean, she came up with a couple of big serves at those crucial points. And uh, she, but she had to rely on, on Novotna choking a little bit. And that is not really the way to go about winning it. Well, we couldn't have asked for a more fascinating final than this one. It's funny, very easy to be say this with the benefit of hindsight, but I think most of us at the start of the week were saying there's one person in this field who could really give Steffi Graf a match, and that was Jana Novotna. Without question, I mean, as uh, we started off saying right at the beginning, Novotna has all the elements to trouble Steffi, and she's always played good matches against her. She's only beaten her three times, which she actually should have beaten her more. But I don't know whether I detected just on Jana's face a little bit of a sort of a sort of a slightly draining of the emotions as if she lost a little bit of fight right then. So those two must have been suffering a bit. Shot. That was a push oh, shot. There was no swing at it, no commitment, no conviction. Fifteen. Basically, Novotna has to remember that it's just going with serve. That although she lost those opportunities, that she's still very much level pegging here. Put it out. No, I'm quite convinced that was out. Jana doesn't think so. 15-30. Jeremy Shell's in no mind. Certainly not in two minds. Jeremy went part all five finals at Wimbledon, the first man ever to do that. No, we don't see it from that replay, but my instinctive gut reaction when I saw it was it was out. Good. And it's set point for Steffi Graf. And it looked to me as if uh, Jana Novotna was just beginning 40. to get a, a little bit tight in her body, hitting the ground strokes, and would prefer to be in the net where she feels a little bit more confident. Great shot from Steffi. in the last couple of games that in fairness the server has always played them really well didn't hesitate when the short ball was there went for it oh that is 
it's a super shot. And what makes it so much better is that with the one she was missing for a second and a half. I'd As I said, Steffi with a backhand passing shot is a totally different player, isn't she? So, for a second time, set point graph. Well, it was a good get New from Graf, but it was the Novotna error, and suddenly Graf right back in it. After an hour and 29 minutes, one set apiece. Well, if you check your radio times, you will see that we've uh, reached the end of our allotted time for this tennis final. But let me assure you that we are staying here in Brighton. Our apologies to those waiting to watch snooker, but we are staying with this excellent final. See the outcome. Final set, Miss Graf to serve. New balls. So Steffi Graf will get us underway in this final set. It's a tie-break set. She has the benefit of new tennis balls. This is good tennis from Jana Novotna. Steffi could have done a bit more. Tends to go back too often to the forehand side, but a very clean pass. Well, this is good from the bottom because instead of allowing her head to go down, she's come right out at the start of the third set and said, OK, it's still only one set all. error of just relaxing at the start of the third set. The game she's conceded her serve to love and having clawed her way back into the match, she's put herself right behind again. We certainly have seen some typical scenarios that happen First very often in tennis. Set. One, the difficulty of closing out that second set when you're ahead. Not that Novotna was that far ahead, but she was a set up and she did have the, the break points to be 5-4 up. And uh, what really happened to her was that she forgot to be as aggressive as she could be. And by being aggressive, you have to be aggressive, but also make sure you don't go for crazy winners. You have to be prepared to stay in the match. And then we're seeing this... Uh, change of events with Steffi. I mean, all the intensity there at the end of the second set and suddenly as if the balloon popped and she didn't uh, have any of that immersion in the match that she had just had. And, and taking a few chances uh, that going in on the forehand, you know, that's not really a good play at any time. Well, she's been around the tour for time. so long. 1982 she was first ranked in the world. 214. And yes, she won the European 12 and unders title. <laughs> it's extraordinary. And uh, she broke into the top 100 the following year, made her debut here in Brighton in 1984. 
lost in the first round on that occasion to Katarina Lindquist, who she beat in the final two years later, and then lost to Joe Jury in 1985 in the second round, as we watch from the member cover again. And that, incredibly, that defeat from Joe Jury is the last time she's lost prior to the quarterfinal of any tournament anywhere in the world in seven years. And important here for Steffi to actually relax with her shots. You see, at the beginning of the third set, it's still a long way to go. It's a long way to hold a break for her opponent. Fifteen thirty. Jana Nobotna really very formidable when she is at the net to handle that one well. Gets up for excellent overhead, which really it was just the pace of that shot that prevented Steffi from finding the court with this ball. So two good points here from Nobotna. A chance then for the break back immediately. Game is dropped. Is taken. I just got the impression Long that uh, Steffi had given set. herself a right old telling to at that last, talking to at that changeover, and said, what am I doing? I've worked so hard to get back in the match, I'm not going to throw it away now. At least uh, she didn't let it get to her that she lost that game. One set all, one game all, after an hour and 38 minutes. Nope, just too long. It certainly wasn't wide, <laughs> Jeremy. It was long, I think. It was uh, awfully close. It uh, 
it isn't easy to judge that ball when you've hit it because Love 50. it could just as easily be on the back of the line or on the line and I think he did make a correct call. That's a good serve, right into the junction. There's the centre line and the service line. Well, paying the penalty for not a very good second serve there, and Jana very ready to come into the net. And at the moment, she definitely seems to be feeling a little bit more comfortable at the net than the baseline. Well, very lucky to escape with that peculiar volley. I don't know whether she was going all. for the stop volley or whether she thought she only had to put the ball in court. But uh, here, I mean, this is just a little push back. It's a nothing shot. And Jana says, thank you very much. And might have done a bit more. Very all. So still the fortunes fluctuate. Break point to make it three successive breaks of serve. Juice. As Virginia is spotted, there's no doubt the one who looks the more physically tired of the two is not a woman fitter on the tour than Steffi Graf. Yeah, and when she's on the other side of the net, it makes you feel tireder too. Ms. Oh, well, what a great rally. <laughs> no wonder they're delighted. The Graf fan club on their feet. As for the very first time in the match, their favourite is ahead. And sheer determination gave her that point because she struggled through that game. Her serve, game very Graf. patchy. Ms. Graf leads two games to one. Final set. In fact, 
both these players are serving less well than they were at the beginning and I think for different reasons I think that Steffi is unsure where to serve to Novotna because if she misses her first serve Novotna comes in uh, behind it so well and just if we look at Steffi she still seems to be moving very well although she lunges for some of these backhands instead of maybe taking a couple more steps of so footwork good to the backhand gets around that one and again the lunge but hanging in determined Time. to make that ball stay in the court and you must be tired in a long rally like that you know you it's uh, you, you're both very tense and <laughs> I would think the people are, who are not on the tennis court are just as tense One, two, then. Final set. Love 15. See, I think that Novotna has such a deep knee bend that when she gets into the third set, she gets a little bit weary getting up all the way to her serve. Fifteen all. This is a very fine backhand from Novotna because she's been pulled wide and she's going over the high point of the net. She's working off the narrowest of angles and it caught Graf by surprise. Thirty fifteen. And they really have covered the ground. They've, they've used every angle of the court. They've been charging along the two baselines. Another good point by Novotna. Big serve, and she moves in and hits that low volley so well. And this one for her is uh, just a piece of cake. Yeah. It's very quiet in between points here. Yeah, the crowd absolutely engrossed in this. game is about now. Two games all, final set. Yeah, they've enjoyed this. Just under 4,000 people here in the Brighton Centre. A sellout as it was yesterday. There haven't been many better women's matches on the tour this year. Obviously the French Open final will go down as one of the classics of all time, but I haven't seen many better than this.
15 love. When Steffi serves, she hustles over to the left of the court to protect her backhand, and then she is very vulnerable for that wide forehand, like that last return. Forty-fifteen. Steffi, having been kept waiting, determined to make her opponent wait. A little bit of psychology going on out there. Game is dropped. <laughs> Miss Graf leads three games to two. Final set. Well, the dad look a little happier now. And that was a free uh, game there for uh, Graf. It interests me that she is playing as much to Novotna's forehand as she is, and I think that probably she feels that although Novotna makes more errors off the backhand side, it also hurts her more because she comes in on the backhand side and she probably feels she can stay level with her on the forehand. But just if we have a, a little look at the differences in serve, Steffi will start first. There's this high toss, which is, if anything, is to criticize it's that because then she can freeze a little bit right there and uh, just lose her synchronizing on Time. that serve. But she does really snap through with tremendous speed. Now, Novotna, as I said, has a tremendous knee bend, and she pulls back a lot. Now, once in a while, her toss goes over her head, and she collapses off the serve. You see, it's a long way to get your knees back up and reach up for it when, you get in, when you're getting tired. And it does take a lot of energy out of you. I always feel that you can derive that much energy by just taking your weight forward and then going back into the court. But it is a, it's a tough serve. And she's going to need it to be tough this game. Right, There's 2-3 behind in the final set of the final in Brighton. My, 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 what a mess. <laughs> she knows it too. 15 love. She rushes that shot so much sometimes. I mean, she just had to hit any old shot into the open court. <laughs> 30 love. Six aces now for Jana Novotna.
Forty love. How many times do we see this at 40 love? You take a chance, you haven't got too much to lose, hit a perfect winner. We haven't seen this play that much from uh, Steffi today, although you know that's such a traditional doubles point. Good stuff. And suddenly the comfortable lead at 40 love is anything but. Game, Mr. Butler. But she hung on well. Three games all, final set. An hour and 55 minutes now. And Jan has got to play in the doubles final after this as well. by Novotna to keep pushing in and getting to the net. And that determination to press forward has Love brought 40. Novotna three break points in what Dan Maskell would certainly have described as the vital seventh. Vital will that net cord prove? Fifteen forty. Still two break points for Novotna to take a four three lead. How do you rate this one? <laughs> 
It's been working so well for Novotna coming in, but she was uh, trying off a very deep ball, and she gave Steffi a bit more opportunity to make the passing shot than she has on those other forehands that Steffi has missed. Oh, well stretched. Oh, if she was tired, that was a supreme effort. Advantage she hits the body so that. well on the reach, but again, she came in off a very deep ball. A magnificent hand she has at the net, and really her backhand as an approach shot is working so well for her in this match. Fourth break point, then. You can be sure Steffi's going to serve to her forehand again. And she peppered that forehand and got the short ball which sh she was seeking. Juice. She's almost reluctant to hit to her backhand now, but this time she knows she has a, a winning a winning shot. It's exactly two hours they've been on court. The lovely thing is we haven't got a clue who's going to win. Now, that might be the best point in a way that Steffi Graf has played in this match because it was a very tough Advantage point. Ms. She Graf. wanted to go cross court. She made herself hit back to Novotna's forehand, and finally she had to make a good shot, and she did. So, having survived four break points, Graf's chance to go 4 3 in front. And the opening was there. Juice. on the line tremendous tennis by both players equally Advantage good stuff from Novotna. both of them until this clever shot here from Novotna and Steffi shouldn't really have gone back there because she left a huge gaping hole but it was very difficult for her to squeeze it down the line was a 20 stroke rally. And Jana Novotna very understandably is taking a long time to be ready to get a breath back. Break point for a fifth time. Good serve and at such a difficult point. Here she comes into the court, but the ball didn't lie down as most of those backhand approach shots did. Steffi was quick to read it. Fourth juice. Well, that's a brilliant shot. Out of nowhere, really. Advantage, Mr. Novotny. 
And Novotny playing so well off both flanks, coming in so well off the backhand and hitting these great forehands. Terrific play from Novotna. <laughs> She's smiling. She had to work so hard for that game. And her coach still won't relax because it still is far from over. Ms. Novotna leads four games to three. Final set. Well, it's really an incredible spectacle when both players are in overdrive, and that's exactly what we saw. Tremendous serving, good points, and all won with winners. But the only thing is with Novotna, she's played so well that game, but she had to work so hard for it, having had uh, the 40-love lead and not uh, getting it, or the love 40, shall we say. Look at the court coverage of not Votner. she's been drawn from side to side but she's staying in the rally and I just wish Steffi Time. would take the opportunity to get in because now Novotna's in control and makes that superb volley and without question the adrenaline flowing for Novotny here this is uh, great stuff she wasn't thinking at all she was just reacting just so much in the heat of it, moving well. Such a good forehand, that last one. And now look at this, this wonderful shot on the rive, in the air. To take the vital seventh game and to move ahead 4-3 in the final set. Fifteen love. And another point where both players are really hitting the ball so well. We're getting the best tennis at the end of this match. Well, that was one of those tentative, indecisive backhands that Graf was producing for a set and a half. The twixt and between the slice and the drive. Oh. And it was a very decisive and quick call. 40,
That's terrific play. So up, positive man. on a second serve. And the Votna within one game of her first title of the year. And the sixth of her Mr. career. Votna leads five games to three. Final set. The last Please. victory was in Oklahoma last year. She also won in Sydney and was in a finalist in the Australian Open in 1991. 15 love. And Steffi's going to need a little bit more help like that last point. For once, Novotna outguessed because Steffi didn't go for her traditional cross court. 30 love. But you know, they say in tennis that uh, even if you miss an awful lot of these shots when you come into the net, if you make just one more or a few more than you lose, then you can win the match. And Novotna certainly had the balance in her favor. And she's making a lot more in this latter set than she has throughout the match, but is it enough? She's having to, just to stay with her opponent. Game is wrong. A love game. As Graf stays in the final. Well, I didn't watch the last two matches when they played in Leipzig the and in Zurich. Five games to four. Final set. The one Steffi won six four in the third set and the other one seven six but I so what I'm saying is I don't know whether Novotna was serving for the match in those two matches and I doubt if she was but this is a very different situation for her she still has got time to get very edgy because uh, let me tell you that it's not a foregone conclusion when you played a long tense match that you're always going automatically going to come out and serve a good game when you five three or five four ahead in the set suddenly your body time is alien to you it can either turn to jelly or it can turn to iron well i noticed mr wilson's graph are so tense they can't sit next to each other anymore the moment of truth for Jana Novotna. We know she has the talent, she has the ability, but does she have the nerve? A quiet word of come on from the coach. 5 4, serving for the title. Brilliant. She handled that so well because that was an incredibly good lob. 15 lob. Good volley, and this was just a defensive lob right into the corner. But why didn't Steffi stick a racket out on that? Hard to judge, I guess.
Novotna, just as she did when she was serving for the first set, getting the first serve Dirty in, long. getting forward, and saying, pass me if you can. Within two points of victory. Steffi certainly showing some champion shots there, but my goodness, is she walking a fine line at this moment. Both hitting the lines. 30 all. a little chink in the armor it was a good return it was 30, anything but 40. an easy volley just not decisive enough point for five all She's broken back. Game is strong. Well, 15 years this tournament has been going. I've been lucky enough to watch most of the finals. I can't remember a better one. Well, a little grin on Steffi's face. She won that game. It was not Novotna who lost it. Novotna can't really blame herself for, for that game. Five games all. Final but, you know, set. you wonder if that confidence just came from the fact oh, that she please. has beaten her so many times perhaps the little difference that separates the very good players from the really great ones but even so I wouldn't put any money on the outcome five all final set two hours and 18 minutes 15 love if we get to six all of course It'll all be down to a tie break. Fifteen all. It was such a weird ball that came back at Steffi. Skimmed the top of the net, bounced a little bit sort of flat in the middle of the court. Yeah, I think it caught the line as well, didn't it? it skidded on, didn't rise at all. Fifteen What a shot at such a stage. Well, she 40. was a little more cautious about going into the net, Novotna, but my goodness, was that, was that an unconscious shot? 
There was absolutely no way Steffi, despite her speed, could get there. So, two break points. Thirty forty. She's going to serve the second serve, risk an approach to the net by Novotna. Oh, yeah, double hit. Juice. But it is noticeable now that she's hitting a far more of these backhands back to the backhand wing. She knows Jana is instinctively covering the cross court going to the forehand so two break points saved one set all five all deuce Advantage, Miss Graf. Game, Miss Graf. New balls, please. The yell from Steffi, the roar from her fans. And having been within two points of defeat, she's now one game from victory. And tremendously good tennis here by Steffi Graf. I mean, she finally started to believe that she should just play instead of worrying about it too much. Ms. Graf leads six games to five, final set. You know, in the last few service games, she's had to serve long games and she's hardly missed a first serve. She's hardly make it made an error. And it's just been the quality of both players that have been winning the points. Yes, I think that's very important that we stress. Even if Graf does now go on to win, and that's a very big if, there will be some who will say, oh, Novotna choked, as she's done in the past. She served for the match. She had a couple of break points there. That isn't the case at all. Steffi has saved the situation by her own play. Except that I think that Time. Steffi knows that uh, Novotna can get edgy at the end, and so that gave her the inner confidence to believe in herself. And I think these people have helped her a lot. Du bist die Beste. You are the best. Well, she has been pushed to the limit. She's had to produce her best. Jana Novotna with another set of tennis balls. Trying to take us into a tiebreak for the first time ever in a Brighton final. The love 15. And uh, the approach shot's not quite so stinging from Yana. She didn't really get into the net at all there. First service. Good serve. <laughs> Fifteen all. Another. Very good serving from the Butner. 30 15.
30 all. So now the title is two points away from Grass. Grasp. Forty thirty. It's always so ironic that when you're serving for the match, you can't produce big serves like this. It will be a tie break. Game is Novotna. Six games all, final set, tie break. The last match, just a couple of weeks ago, the semi finals in Zurich also went to a final set tie break. Graf won it by seven points to two. And in a tie break, there's a big element One, of zero, inner confidence, but there also can be an element of fortune. So you have to try very hard not to let that come into play. If you're the one who thinks you should win. Brilliant lob by Steffi Graf there. And the early mini break. Two secured zero, by it. She's come up with some tremendous backhand lobs in the last couple of games. It's an old cliche, but when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And she is getting going in a big way. Three, so zero. quick here to run Let's around go. the backhand. So decisive, and that's uh, when she's good, when she just is ready, makes a decision early, and just pounds away. They sense Mistral. that their favorite now has a decisive lead. And five love certainly should because Novotna fought so hard for that point. Five zero, Miss Graf. Please do not shout during play. Please do not call out. Thank you. She's worked so hard for two hours and 29 minutes. And it looks as if it's going to be a third successive narrow defeat hands of the world number two.
Well, she went for that second serve. Five, one. But it Ms. almost Grant. as if Novotna has, her, her energy has just seeped away. They daren't breathe yet. Heidi Graf next to David Irvin. Tennis Grace one over the Guardian. Well, they've had to have rewritten his story a few times <laughs> in the last two and a half hours. twists in this particular plot than an Agatha Christie novel. Five, two, Miss Grove. Well, she'll feel a lot better for having got those two points. Now can Graf close it out? Well, if ever a shot has turned the tide of a match, it has been the rolled backhand of Steffi Six Graf. to Miss Graf. And now the latest backhand Five has years. brought her four championship points for a sixth title in Brighton. Oh, terrific stuff. Sensational volley there by Jana Novotna. A good point altogether. Six, she came three, in, she had to cover a lot of court here, and she has such great hands there. The danger for the one in the lead is that Jana can just shut her eyes and go for broke here and could connect. She's served well so far in this tiebreak. One match point saved, three more for Graf. She's done it. Game set match, Miss Graf. A great, one, great match has four, lasted six, two six, hours four, and 32 seven, minutes. Six. And Graf has retained her title. A very happy father and mother Jana Novotna has contributed so much to this, but Graf has proved that here in Brighton it takes something very special to deny her. Virginia, a very quick comment. Well, somehow Sefi Graf found it deep within her to come through this match because this must be rated as one of the toughest Ladies matches of all time for her. Will take place in yes, a of minutes. she's won. 4-6, 6-4, 7-6, winning the tiebreak by seven points to three. A wonderful, wonderful contest. Enormous sympathy, I think, for Jana Novotna, but the Brighton run of the remarkable Steffi Graf goes on. She is again the Midland Bank champion. From all of us here at Brighton, good afternoon. Steffi, well done, yet again. Thank you.
You have uh, great support here, you're well aware of that. Yes. <laughs> but you must, at times, have tested their belief a little bit this afternoon. Yeah, I definitely think so. <laughs> but um, it was, again, it was really, it was really great to be here. And uh, the support that I really had over the past week here was tremendous. And I want to thank you all for that. Thanks. Yeah. Hasn't been a tie break in a Brighton final, so that's something new. Yeah, people have been telling me that in Britain they don't show so much tennis on TV, and I figured. Well, today they show some, so let's stretch it. <laughs> well, I can tell you for the record that the BBC showed all of that line this afternoon. I've got to get that plug in. A few words about Jana, because uh, she played enormously well. I think it should be said that you won, she didn't lose. Yes, I, I definitely have to say that. I mean, I'm, I was lucky again to, to get out of this match. I've been playing her the third time along the past four weeks. And we had some, all three of them were very close. And uh, uh, I have to really say sorry because every time I just come out there and win it again, even if she, she was up. Sorry. <laughs> well, I think an epic final, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of you, can I say thanks to both players. Ladies and gentlemen, walking across now for the presentation are Mr. Keith Whitson, Director and Deputy Chief Executive of Midland Bank, Sir Geoffrey Cass, Chairman of the Tournament Committee, and George Hendon, Tournament Director. And the trophy and gifts will now be presented by Mr. Whitson, the runner-up, Jana Novotna. And Jana receives a check for $31,500, a sterling silver mounted crystal court decanter with a wood and silver coaster. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the sixth time, Midland Bank's champion for 1992, Steffi Graf. Steffi receives the magnificent. I think I'll start again. And Steffi has just received the magnificent Golden Griffin Trophy, a check for seventy thousand dollars, and now a sterling silver mounted crystal claret jug and four silver plated goblets. I just would like to say a few words. Uh, first of all, <laughs> as I did two times in past four weeks, I have to congratulate Steffi again. Uh, she is a great player and uh, she proved it today. I was very close, but not yet. Congratulations, Steffi. I would like to thank to Midland Bank, to Craft Tour and the LPA for supporting this event. 
I would like to thank George Hendon for having a great tournament. I can assure you that we will be back next year. Thank you very much. <laughs> This time, I would like to thank my coach, Hanna Mendlikova, sitting right there. <laughs> and thank you to all of you for coming during the whole week, giving us a great atmosphere today, and uh, stay here. I have to still doubles to play, so don't go away. I'll be back in a couple hours. Yes, um, again, I want to congratulate Jana for really playing. <laughs> no, I really, I mean, it was, it was a great match and uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. And also, I want to thank everybody who was involved in the tournament, as well as the sponsors, Midland Bank, LTA and Kraft, and uh, all the lines person, the drivers. I mean, it's, be, it's been great coming back every year and seeing the same people. I think that that's made it, it very, very special. And last, I'll be back next year, don't worry, I come back. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, one, more one more time, I want to thank all the fans that I've had here. I've been receiving so many letters, I had to write so many letters too, which wasn't always the best, but um, yeah. And all my family has been here, Marcus, Michael, thanks for your support, thanks.